Hello, YouTube. My name is Neil Campbell. Today I have another, I guess, not really update video, but more of just a coverage video going over the modifications I did to um, the recent or newest Lego Star Destroyer set that came out. I think like a, a couple weeks ago. It came out in June or July. No, it came out in August. It's now September. So it's been, no, it's October now. It's had it for... I don't know how long have I had this for? A couple weeks now. We're gonna go with a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, the uh, part two video of me showcasing the modifications I made to it in greater depth. A, a lot of views. Thank you very much for that. And B, a lot of people, I had a, one comment ask, you know, hey, what does the inside look now, look like now since you modified? So I'm like, okay, I'll just, uh, I told them what it was and I figured, you know what? that's just an explanation isn't gonna be enough so i'm just gonna you know make a video covering it or showing showcasing what it looks like so here we have the stand obviously where it sits currently oh, gotta adjust the carpet <laughs> damn carpet it's on sticky pads so it moves around fucking always but anyways yeah that's the stand i made a little improvised but it does the job it's a little flimsy on the underside so sometimes the plates crack in not like you know broke breaking but like you know the det detaching and then going inside of the ship so we'll remove so also of, of, of course i did extend the length of the ship i he also asked about that or they i don't know what gender they are but anyways they asked about that and so i was like yeah i made it longer similar to the length of that of the uh older Star Destroyer, which I'll probably grab in a second. I don't know why I didn't grab now, but so let me pop that. Oop, there we go. It's a bit of a tight fit there. So yeah, that's the inside now. As you can see, there is no interior. There we go. We'll open that further, and there you go. Actually, we'll do a double wide open. Right, side guns hinging properly to make way for us. So yeah, so I pushed back the uh, conning tower or the bridge of the ship to match the length, the increased length of the ship. Uh, these sections I should actually should modify because or add pieces to because it's literally attached to nothing. It's just attached to the back wall and then nothing else. So that could be a potential structural weakness. But yeah, see here, random colors of pieces I just threw in there to fill in the ship and whatnot in different areas just to be like okay now it's like you know those pieces that needed to be there are there as you can see here it's a multicolor nightmare <laughs> right there but you know it's the inside of the ship so it doesn't really fucking matter if you see it or not the important thing is you have the parts where they need to be for structural support it's all that matters and that's how you should look at it especially if you have extra pieces and you don't see yourself ever using them because of the colors, just use them for internal structure, structural support. That's what I do. Yeah, all these colors here and whatnot. So yeah, there is no inside to the ship. No decoration, no chairs, no command modules, no uh, computer screens, con computer consoles, things like that, nothing. Because for me, I don't value any of that. I don't find it important. I don't think it adds to a model ship, at least to me personally. Now, obviously, LEGO does that because it's a play set. So it's like, okay, we have the ship, and now we have the play functions for the ship. So that if a little kid wants to open it up and do other things with it, they can do that. Kind of like old uh, Transformers LEGO, or not LEGO sets, but old Transformer toy sets, you know? Like Optimus Prime's uh, trailer or trailer to his truck, you know, it opens up and it's a whole freaking command center, and then you can transform it further to be like a uh, pair of legs for him to attach to. That's from Transformers Armada. Good show, great, great anime. And yes, I'm saying it's an anime because it was first a Japanese dub show. So, and literally is as anime as it gets for Transformers. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, look up Transformers on Armada. Anyways, enough about that. Get a seat back here. Got the engines. As you can see, I lengthened them further so that they you can actually see them and they're not just hidden away. Again, more different colored parts there, as you can see there. And yeah, so there's a few areas I could definitely improve upon. Maybe add some other play pieces inside to be like, okay, this holds it together better or helps 
hold the shape of the ship together better, things like that, you know? And yeah, that's what I did here. Let me show you, actually, and this is something I didn't think to do. And I'll show you the wall of Lego I have going on here real quick. Let's see, can I grab this? Yeah, a yeah, little uh, crunchy, but you know, ooh. Yeah, that's like, uh, there we go. Much better. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's, as you can see, this is fake Lego, not not real Lego. That's the only way I can keep myself from ripping it apart back in my early building days. But yeah, as you can see, they're about similar length now. I think this older Star Destroyer is about, yeah, about a stud or two longer. You're literally one stud longer now. You can see there. So that's why I lengthened it, just to be like, make this longer. Because the whole reason I even bought this older Star Destroyer from 2014 was so that it was, I had a Star Destroyer that was to scale to my other uh, custom spaceships I have built, you know? And when the new one came out and I realized it's smaller, I was like really disappointed because like it looks better than the old one from 2014. Like massively so, because look at this. Yeah, this section is a bit better, but it's only just larger in size. This one is way the hell more detailed and just better built. Look at all that detail for such a small scale. You know, really good stuff. Here, you got huge, you got studs everywhere. This shit, I mean, come on, man. This is really bare bones. And then huge open gaps in the back, as you can see here. Goes together nicely. But yeah, look, just... Big gaps, just, it's a really, you know, simplistic design compared to the newer, more advanced design. Now, granted, me gutting it like I did freed up a lot of pieces, and I'd probably mean like roughly around 700, or not 700, maybe like 500 of the actual pieces that would have gone inside of the ship, I just freed up by just gutting it and then building all this. But yeah, so overall, this is definitely an improvement over this whole thing. I'm gonna, still gonna hold on to it because cheap knockoff re reproduction. It's a Lepin set. Like the other one was a different Chinese company that would you know bootleg this stuff before the Chinese government shut them down. <laughs> ah, fun times. Anyways, but yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. For those of you wondering. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and let me know what you think about having interiors for your ships. Again, me personally, I find no value to them. You know, I'm building the ship for the ship, not a playset. If I want to build a playset, I'll build a playset. But if I'm building a ship, I'm building a ship. Well, with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, and have a wonderful day.